What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, and today I'm checking out the Vault Nano by Vault Case. I've checked out one of their cases before, the full-size Vault Case, on the channel. I'll put a link up in the corner if you're interested in checking that out. And also, stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm going to be giving one of these, as well as several other items away, as part of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I realize I'm pretty late on that, but just got the last items in today, so going to be doing that giveaway. And if you're watching this before October 2nd, you'll still have a chance to, uh, to enter that drawing. I'm going to be doing the drawing on October 2nd and shipping it out, hopefully October 3rd, if I get the shipping information or whenever that does eventually come through. But let's check out the Vault Nano. This is $35, $34.99 over on vaultcase.co. C-O, there is no M, so not com. It is seven inches wide by four and a half inches tall and about two inches thick. Although this looks a little more than two inches to me, actually. Uh, maybe because it's loaded out, but I think even unloaded out. Uh, just barely, actually. It's just about two and a quarter inches thick right now. So just about two inches thick. And it does have a nice little grab handle on the top. You can see that Vault logo on the handle as well. And just kind of a grab handle for carrying it out. Vault logo here as well. And a about four and a half inch by two and a quarter or so inch strip of Velcro. It's a new addition. It wasn't on the full size case. So you can add some patches there. All of these patches on the exterior are from Data Crew, although two of these are collaborations, but they all came from the Data Crew website. And so this is a really kind of a travel case for carrying your gear. It's perfect for conventions, whether you're taking stuff to conventions or picking something up that you want to be protected. It's good if you're going to a knife meetup or just a friend's house and you want to show off some of your gear, anything really that you want to take gear, keep it protected and take a little bit more than what would normally fit in your pocket. And so I'm going to go ahead and dive in. It has these rubberized zippers. Uh, I'm not sure if it's YKK zippers under here or not, but they are covered with that vault logo. They're metal underneath that rubber, so it's not like these are going to break off eventually. It is metal. It just has some rubberizing on the outside, and it is a little bit reversed, so these are going to be relatively water resistant. The exterior is fairly rigid, so it's going to protect everything inside, and they'll be safe fit through a little bit of rain and things like that, although it is not waterproof, so you're not going to want to submerge it. So it opens up clamshell style and as you can see kind of flips open and right off the bat you see in the middle there's this panel and this is removable and all of the panels actually are. So this works to store patches but the main purpose of it is just to keep your gear separated and protected. It just velcros on right here as you can see. I have an Aurora knife and tools. I have no blade safety patch on this one as well as the Blade HQ patch on this side it can obviously fit a lot more than that but again it is removable but it's there to protect stuff on either side from banging up against each other so I wouldn't recommend taking it out if you want to protect your gear. One other thing to keep in mind is they sell flex panel sets and they have large and small on their website but the even the small ones don't fit in this case so those are for the full size vault case they do not fit in the nano so don't buy them thinking that you can add them in. Uh, you are limited to the ones that come with it. Maybe eventually they might start selling some other modular attachments for it, but right now none of the accessories on the website actually go into this case. So just keep that in mind. These are both removable, however, so that definitely leaves the option to eventually change them out. And so they have these pull tabs. They're just Velcro, and you just stick them right in there. So that's nice if you want to be able to take the gear out and leave it on those kind of organizational sleeves. And in here, I kind of went with a, a banter theme. So all four of these are either banters or baby banters, and it will fit for kind of average size knives. It would fit for full size banters very easily. Uh, I only have three full size banters, so I went with two full and two mini, but it will fit all of them. It's not gonna fit really, really large knives. So some of the largest knives I have will only fit one per side. And so really depending on what you're looking at, for the most part, you can get four knives in here, but you might be limited to two if you're using really, really large knives. And I also put them in a little bit differently. Some I used a pocket clip, some I didn't. You're not limited to using a pocket clip. It definitely puts them in there a little bit more securely. But again, don't not required to. So again, full-size banter. This was the original, as well as the Mars Space Kitty Baby Banter. Done a video on both of those. Well, I guess the video was probably on this one, actually, but 
they've both been featured in videos. The Knife Center exclusive Royal Purple, as well as the new Micarta Baby Banter. And this one is actually, I got the What Is Up Guys edition, and so, which side is it on? Uh, so it has Ben Peterson engraved his signature on there. I'm not sure how well that shows up, but it is there right next to the What Is Up Guys logo. It says Ben right on the blade. And so that's pretty cool. They have the baby banter as well as the full size in this new micarta, green micarta. It's really like tacky, grippy micarta. Super cool. I'm not going to do a separate video on this just because I've done a baby banter video pretty recently, but it is a pretty cool little knife if you're interested. So, as you can see, these panels, both removable, they have these pull tabs on either side to remove them, and they alternate between a full length of elastic and a half length. And so, really a kind of modular, gonna fit whatever you really wanna carry. If you have something that's wider than these thinner loops, you have the bigger loops, and if you have something smaller that you wanna be in there really snugly, you have the smaller ones. And so, a lot of options here. Really, really cool case for taking your knives on the go. And Really glad they came out with the mini because I think this one's probably going to get more use than my full size case to be honest. And just a really really good size. Hope to see these in new sizes, new accessories, that sort of thing. But excited to check this out and think it's really really cool. They come in four colors. Black, orange, green, and white. I obviously went with the white. But they do come in four colors if you're interested in checking any of those out. The full size case is really great as well and even more modular since they have a lot of attachments that go with it. But I just think this is kind of the right size for me. I, one that I think I'll get more use out of. So super excited about that. But on to the giveaway I mentioned. This is my thousand subscriber giveaway. And so I just got all of my items in. That's why it's so late. But going to go over all the items. A few rules. One is that this is U.S. only, unfortunately. I am shipping a knife. I don't know the knife laws in every country, so I'm going to limit it to U.S., but if you're in another country and you want to enter, you have a proxy here in the U.S. that can give their address. I will ship it to them, and what they do with it from there is up to them, obviously. Ideally, they're shipping it to you, but you can enter that way, but otherwise, I'm only shipping to U.S. addresses. Second, must be 18 years or older to enter, one entry per household, and then lastly, in order to enter, just be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below on this video pre prior to October 2nd when I do the drawing, and I'll get those shipped out within a day or two after I get that address. And so, let's dive into everything I'm giving away. To start out, we're giving away this Sabibi Baby Banter. There's obviously this air freshener in there. I'm not sure if it's actually scented or if it's just a hanger, but if it's not scented, you could probably spray some cologne or something like that. This is still in the box. It is open, though, because I also got the What Is Up Guys edition, which includes Ben's engraved signature on there. So I'm going to be this exact knife. Well, not this one, but same, same thing as this knife. And so you're going to get that. You're going to get the air freshener. You're going to get some additional swags, just some stickers from them. What is up guys? The baby on board for the baby banter and the NASCO sticker, as well as some uncommon EDC stickers. And lastly, this is actually pretty funny. So he put a note in the shipment saying, you know, sorry for the delays, sorry it took so long. I threw in a free flight tag because of the delays in shipping, but I ordered all four items for this giveaway at the same time and this was the first one to arrive so he sent this for free because of the delays but it was also the fastest one to get here so i thought that was pretty funny but gonna throw in the flight tag that i got for free as well i have a couple of these so i might as well pass it on it has a three inch ruler on the back and the nafs logo on the front so i'm gonna throw all of that in there in addition we're gonna include a bolt case the one we just showed the bolt nano this one is in orange obviously Still sealed up, haven't opened it up at all. So exactly what you saw here, just in orange. And again, that'll ship alongside that. I'm not gonna open them up. I'm just gonna throw them all into a box together. On top of that, we're gonna do these awesome Hank Gear patches. And these are the Food War ones. I There's the donut and the banana. So you can throw those on the outside of the case. You can use them for whatever you want, but I wanted to throw some patches in there. Next up, we have the Gondek EDC Hank in Topo. This is one I have as well. Really like this one a lot. Really dig the Topo pattern, so I thought I'd throw that in there just to include a Hank. I've obviously always 
UDC to Hank, so thought I should include that in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And last but not least is, again, part of this baby banter bundle. Just had it on the bottom of the stack, so showing it last. And that is the Civivi Baby Banter Shop Mat. This is 9 by 9 can double as a mouse pad if you prefer to use it as a mouse pad, but it has kind of the exploded view of that baby banter, as well as just a list of the parts, the specs, some additional information along the bottom. Super cool shop map from them. And all of that's gonna be shipping out again as soon as I get the shipment information. I'm gonna do the drawing on the second, so keep an eye out on that. I'll reply to the comment pin the comment, and I'll also put out a video where I do the random drawing so that everyone can see that. And so, again, if you're watching before October 2nd, be sure to enter down below by being subscribed and leaving a comment on this video prior to October 2nd. But thanks so much for watching. Let me know also in the comments what you thought of the vault case, just down in the comments. Would love to hear your feedback. Super excited about this one. I think, like I said, I think it's a little bit cooler than the full size vault case for my uses. So I'm excited about it, but would love to hear your thoughts as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.